Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is get preferred languages. Let me go ahead and run this example. We'll go ahead and hit go, and well, we're going to get back zero. What I'm doing is grabbing the get preferred languages node, which returns an array of the user's preferred languages in order of preference getting the length and printing it out. And well, I get no result. I get nothing. It's empty. If we were to look at the code, well, this would be why. Our generic implementation of this returns back a, well, a blank empty string array. And that's it. I'm on the Windows platform. Let's go ahead and go back to our code itself and look through here. And what we're going to find is right now, this code for get preferred languages only returns back something properly on the iOS platform, as you can see here. So that's a 4.14. If you wish to use this code, you're only really going to get back something on the iOS platform. Now what this code is intended to do if you're using it on the iOS platform is again, it's going to return back an array. That array is going to be strings and it's going to give you back language codes for the languages that are preferred in order. What this means, for example, is someone could be using a device that is Oh, um, let's say Indian in nature, and it allows them to set their preferred language. It's an iOS device. Let's assume it's an iOS device because, again, this code only works on iOS. They could have the Indian language as their preferred language and have the English, for example, US English, as a secondary. Or it could be the opposite. It could be an Indian device, and they could have US English as their preferred language. This is useful if you're having a game and it pops up with a language screen because your game has different localizations and it allows you to set your default value to whatever the customer has set as their default rather than assuming it based on their region. So it's useful for that. You wouldn't want to, for example, in that issue, the person has US as a preferred language, this is a device in China, and then you default to the Chinese language even though they want US as their default. So that's an example of what it's useful for. And that is what our node is. Get preferred languages is going to return back that string array. And as a 4.14, it only returns back valid values for iOS devices.